when you appoint ambassadors, you don't appoint them for what they believe, you appoint them for what they know. And I think what we need in Brussels is somebody who has experience, who's going to be a real professional negotiator, who will be sitting in a room with lots of other very experienced and knowledgeable negotiators, and who will be able to hold his or her own in that negotiation. We have someone leading this negotiation who believes in Brexit, and that is David Davis. That is the role of the minister. The role of the ambassador and the civil servants is to give clear, dispassionate, objective advice. Well, in that case, how do you think your former colleagues who are in the Foreign Office or elsewhere in the civil service now feel about the, the idea that uh, that the person who takes this role has to, you know, has to believe in the same agenda? Well, I think there are a lot of highly professional people in the civil service who will want to do... Uh, who do want to do their duty and to serve their country. And there will be many people, I think, who will be keen to take this role on. And there are experienced people in the Foreign Office, in the Treasury, in the Cabinet Office, who are qualified to do it. An obvious successor, though? I'm not going to go into names, Michelle. <laughs>